Hello, my gently fighters, and welcome to your daily brew for the 17th of August 2021. Um, try not to blame talking on why I'm playing so badly, especially since I can play badly very well. I can play very badly. Let's not say play badly well, but I can play very badly when I'm not sitting around talking about things like capitalism or something like that. Like I was saying, the Mark Blythe. Uh, fashion blogger view capitalism is sort of annoying me. I mean, it's basically a straw man. So, um, talked about this before. Uh, I think I talked about it not so much when I was talking about capitalism, but I was talking about. Um, what are those things? Uh, red pill, black pill, um, pickup artist, men going their own way, those sorts of people. To me, those people are just like socialists, right? There's no difference between a pickup artist and a socialist, right? They just, it's just what is it that they want from other people that don't want to give it to them <laughs> is the um, difference, right? So socialists see people with money and they want to have other people give them money that those people don't want to give them. So that's and that's sort of definition. They don't like capitalism. That means they don't like free exchange. They don't want people to um, freely choose to exchange things. Because that's all capitalism is. Um, plus some morality and some um, other things that are sort of required for it to take off. And failed to actually be there in previous um, incarnations, right? So for um, when uh, when the Berlin Wall fell, right? We were completely unable to transfer institutions to Russia to make capitalism work. So you had this kleptocracy. A very bad situation. It was not a good situation in Russia after the Berlin Wall, right? Soviet Union was awful, and because it wasn't just institutions, you also need sort of some sort of morality to go along with it, some sort of ethical behavior that's complex, ethic, complex ethical behavior. Um. need that ethical behavior, um, and if people don't have that ethics, people don't know how to behave ethically in a free situation, <clears throat> you know, you can't build a capitalist society, so you end up with Vladimir Putin, right? It's fairly simple. Um, the ethics that went along with communism, not the ethics that the communists espouse, but rather the ethics for the actual working system, were such that um,
the general person in that system was unable to um, act in a manner that would be conducive to capitalist um, society. Right? They did not have the right kind of morality. I'm not saying it's the only morality, I'm not saying it's the only way to be good, but there's a certain way to be good, a certain kind of trustworthiness that's required for capitalism to work, right? for me to be able to trust you. To run my business for me when I'm somewhere else. For me to be able to trust you to even come to work. And this thing doesn't work. It doesn't work very well in Africa right now. Didn't work in the former Soviet Union very well. Because this can be problematic, right? Oops, consideration. shouldn't say that because I mean people use problematic wrong right and to say problematic to say I mean somebody disagrees with me right um, right when somebody says this is problematic because <clears throat> you know well, this, the flashing blogger was saying stuff like this, right? Um, the racial composition of the people doing something, right? Or something like that. Then um, they're more or less misusing problematic, right? They're not talking about... You know, an actual problem. They're just saying that somebody disagrees with me. That's not a problem, right? It's not a problem that somebody disagrees with you. Um, you might dislike it, right? I'm not super happy that these flash and blo fashion bloggers have this negative view of capitalism, despite the fact that capitalism is the thing behind their ability to do anything, right? Nobody in a non-capitalist country would ever pay somebody to be a fashion fucking blogger, right? No one would ever give somebody a chance to do the sorts of things they do and make money at it in a rational social system, socialist system. It could not happen because this is not something people need. People don't need fashion bloggers, period. This is um, just true. <laughs> uh, I, I guess some people might not believe this, but, you know, Twitch couldn't exist in a, um, in a communist system. Because why would anybody in a, in a socialist system give any resources whatsoever, even... You know, a camera, a computer, screen time to somebody who's just talking about games. It's it's only valuable because people think it's valuable, right? Which is what capitalism says. But that's sort of the relative theory of value that comes along with capitalism, as opposed to just about any other kind of theory of value. Right. People have crazy ideas about value. So one complete moron talking about, um, you know, you hate it when somebody who sort of agrees with you does it in a stupid way. So 
you know, saying things like, um, well, libertarians have this awful idea, right? That how should I say this? I'll try to say it as closely to how he said it. It's been a while since I listened to this podcast. I was actually surprised because I knew the guy, right? <clears throat> so I said, "That's that. It's that same David, you know, from like." 1872 or whenever it was. I'm an old man, right? So it's that same David from way back then. This is the guy. The anti-Scientologist guy is now the anti-NFT guy, or maybe not NFT, but um, I'm only saying that because the only reason why I like cryptocurrencies is so I can make little NFTs and try to convince rich people to give, give me all their money. Or bad digital drawings. Um, do I actually have anything worth? I have nothing offensive. I have a Warhammer. I have some bad leather armor. Shattering, which means I have to run and then throw O at him. Darkness, throw M at him. Caustic gas, throw K at him. Confusion. Okay, so right now I don't see any reason to go there. So people were unable to make capitalism work, mostly because they lacked the morality. And so you see the places where the um, where capitalism failed, more or less to be in places like India and in um, Russia. So places that, um, even though they may have in some way espoused some sort of morality, didn't really have morality. So, uh, I, yeah, let me say, so... When I was in graduate school, I mean, this is so simple, but it's so telling, right? Um, when I was in graduate school, you know, there were printers. We had some printers. And those printers... Had what do I have here? Oh, there's my way down. The 
those printers had a uh, Good thing I didn't try the bend me. This time I didn't have anything to actually. Probably should have used the guardian charm. Um, this time I did not actually have anything to enchant, so. Restart? No. Done.